Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about going through a little bit of a love and kindness for yourself kind of meditation, a little guided meditation to just maybe give you the idea that you need to have some special kindness and cuddliness for yourself. I mean, I bet that by this time of year, this is being recorded at the end of December, and we are all kind of in the mode of the holidays, the winding up of the year, much going on, maybe travel, gift giving, holiday celebrations, a lot on our plate. And so what I wanted to do was have you take a moment, maybe come back to this podcast at another time, even that's, um, I don't know when you're listening to this, you could be at the gym for all I know. But to just have a little bit of a guided meditation for yourself giving yourself love and kindness. You've probably been doing this for other people all year long. And now I wanted you to take some time to focus on giving yourself love and kindness. There's so much that goes on in our life that we forget to do what we need to do to keep ourselves on keel. And this is a big part of how our stress ends up accumulating to the point that we are no longer feeling stressed, we're feeling anxious. And we're no longer feeling anxious, but we're feeling panicked because we haven't taken any time to break the cycle, to break the constant accumulation of one more thing, one more thing. And I know even myself at this time of year, I can feel like there, oh, I didn't do enough, or maybe I should have done more. And so we have to stop that and be grateful for what we were able to do, to be kind to ourselves for the things that we did accomplish, and to just let it be at that. Most people who are anxious that have the kind of stress that builds up into anxiety and panic are usually people who are very much on top of things, always trying to do the right thing, always concerned that they didn't do enough. Most people who are have this kind of anxiety are not people who are skating through life, just ignoring other people and only doing what they want. It's quite the opposite. They tend to, toward the side of being neurotic and, and wanting to take care of everything and have things be the best that they could. So it's important for people with stress and anxiety to take these moments for yourself to just be you, to just give yourself the same kind of love and care that you would give to someone else in your life. Now, before I get started with the guided meditation, I wanted to thank BetterHelp. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy, and I hope that you will check out betterhelp.com slash ACP. Life is full of stressors, and it doesn't matter who you are or what you have, your life is probably stressful. I want to say that so many times like I'm trying to get to with this meditation, we are overwhelmed with doing, 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 giving, 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 and oftentimes we are not on the list. If this can happen to you, therapy can help. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. 
It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might gain from it. See if it's for you. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and the Anxiety Coaches Podcast listeners. Get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash ACP. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash ACP. So let's get comfortable. If you are busy and you want to just listen to this, that would be awesome. But if you are in a place where you can actually settle in and sit and go deep with this guided meditation, that would be even better. I want you to be comfortable, but I want you to be in a state, a position that you are alert and aware, to be upright with your spine and your neck and the crown of your head pulled up toward the sky. Gently pull your shoulder blades back and pull them down and raise your rib cage a little. These small shifts that we make will create a true physical openness for your heart, an openness consistent with the positive emotions that we are aiming to cultivate here. Gently lower your gaze to reduce distractions And if you're comfortable enough where you are, close your eyes. And in the silence of your mind, you can continue to say the phrases of loving kindness silently to yourself that you hear me say. Here you can take a few breaths and bring your awareness now to your heart. Visualize how each in-breath affects your heart physically. Breathe normally, making no special effort to breathe in any particular way. Just let it flow. And continue to rest your awareness on your heart. Consider how each in-breath nourishes you as your heart drinks in the precious oxygen. This oxygen moving from the nearby air through your lungs and then into your beating heart and bloodstream is the most basic and constant connection between you and the world around you. This simple act of breathing knits together all that is within you with all that lies beyond your skin. Each new breath creates a unity of life as all people share in the nourishment that the earth's atmosphere freely offers. Check in now with how your body is feeling. Have you noticed any aches or any pains in your body? How about your mind? Any worries? or areas of tension? Or are you in an excited and caught up in some eager anticipation? Whatever you're feeling, there's no need to push it aside. Pleasant or not, let that feeling in. Accept it as part of what it means to be you at this very moment. Meet the feeling with curiosity and openness. Note how it registers in your body and how those sensations change subtly from one moment to the next. Whether your current experience is pleasant or unpleasant, just witness and accept it. Whether events in your life are presenting you with good or bad fortune, just witness and accept those events. See them as part of the inevitable ups and downs 
that all people experience. Just as surely as all people face good and bad fortune, all people all the world over yearn to feel good, safe, peaceful, and healthy. Alongside your awareness of suffering and the fundamental sameness of all people, you can choose to wish yourself well. You deserve this kindness as much as anyone. Begin by lightly calling to mind your own good qualities. Let these qualities remind you of what's good in you. What touches your heart about yourself? Then gently offer the classic wishes of loving kindness to yourself. Choosing phrasing that speaks to your heart. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. See yourself as being a dear friend to yourself. It might help to first imagine the warmth and tenderness that you might feel toward an infant or a kitten, as innocent as these small creatures can be. Experience how your face softens and your heart expands in their presence. Now imagine directing these same feelings of warmth and tenderness to yourself. May I feel safe. May I feel happy. May I feel healthy. May I live with ease. Between each phrase, you can pause for just a moment to drop your awareness down into your body, to your heart in particular. Note and accept whatever sensations arise there. Know that this practice is more than mere repetition of phrases, simply an open door to a chance for you to condition your heart to be more open, accepting, and kinder. Becoming aware of your heart region allows you to witness this conditioning as it unfolds. May I feel safe. May I feel happy. May I feel healthy. May I live with ease. At times you'll find that your attention has strayed from the phrases or even from my voice. This may happen a lot. Don't worry. It's what happens. (laughs) You're normal. Simply come back and begin again by gently bringing your awareness back to the phrases. There's no need to berate yourself for losing focus. Each new moment of a beginning again presents another chance to experiment with the spirit of loving kindness. Can you acknowledge your lapse while at the same time gently returning to the phrases? What would it take to set aside all harshness and begin again with a kind and loving attitude toward yourself? May I feel safe. May I feel happy. May I feel healthy. May I live with ease. 
as you end this practice, know that it's completely natural for you to treat yourself kindly, even if you may forget to do so here and there. Know that you can generate this tender and loving attitude toward yourself anytime. Just by reminding yourself that this dance exists and how at ease it makes you feel. Difficulties and obstacles will still arise. Suffering happens. But you need not add to that suffering by treating yourself harshly. You can instead offer the ancient wishes of loving kindness to yourself. So just remember these words, May I feel safe. May I feel happy. May I feel healthy. And may I live with ease. I hope that you will take an opportunity beyond listening to this episode and hearing those phrases to actually offer that kind of loving kindness to yourself in your difficult moments. A good reminder can be to put your hand on your heart, that place where we were just focusing our attention. Thank you for taking the time for yourself to be here today, and I hope that you can remember to continue giving yourself love and kindness. Before I read today's quote, I was wondering if you prefer the show without ads, or perhaps you might like to have access to the entire back catalog of over 600 episodes. Maybe you'd like some bonus meditation episodes. All of that and more are available for five bucks a month with our premium Supercast membership. Go to anxietycoaches.supercast.com and join us ad-free today. The link will be in the show notes. And now for today's quote. When you are distressed by an external thing, it's not the thing itself that troubles you, but only your judgment of it. And you can wipe this out at a moment's notice. And that's from Marcus Aurelius. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com.